Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Happy Friday. I hope you are all doing well. So we are at the tail end of all our prom um, and we are so thankful. It has been such a busy prom season. We've had, um, gosh, well over 50 corsages and I didn't even count the boutonnieres. So lots and lots. Well, this weekend happens to be Palm Sunday. And so, with Palm Sunday, we always do an arrangement, an altar arrangement, with just palm leaves um, for our church. And so, that's what I'm going to work on real quick, is I am just going to show you how to make an arrangement out of just greenery. Now, it's not for everybody, and I realize that, but for Palm Sunday, I think it's perfect. We also, we already have the Easter lilies at church, and so we have them around the altar table. And so, I thought it would be a beautiful addition to add palms in just a pretty arrangement. Victoria is here with me. When you come on, please tell me hello. Tell me how you're doing. I always like to know. And tell me where you're from. And we are going to go ahead and get started. So, I started with, I am starting with, this is just a, a container. Um, it's kind of a, a concrete or a, a ceramic type container. I have added oasis. And I do have my oasis built up because I wanted to be able to make a really nice fan of greenery. I have taped it in and I have filled the reservoir with water. Now it looks like it's a little crooked and quite honestly it won't matter because you're not going to tail when I go ahead and put all the, um, the palm in there. So if you have any questions, ask them. Victoria's sitting right here beside me and she'll answer any questions y'all might have. So I will get started. Miss Joanne Rhodes sent you 200, uh, 100. <laughs> My goodness, Miss Joanne, thank you so much. Thank you. So I am starting with just traditional jade. Um, jade is the is a really great go-to for any large arrangement. We use this for funeral work, for large altar arrangements, large buffet arrangements. It's just a really good, it's a great palm. So I am going to start out. I'm going to try so that y'all can see it. Yeah. So I'm just going to do it just as if I'm going to put flowers in this arrangement. So I'm going to fan it out. But I'm going to I'm going to give it a little bit of depth. Instead of it all just being a flat fan, I'm going to try to give it just a little bit of depth just by having the palm here and there in the arrangement. Now, many years ago, when I worked with the youth um, at my old church, we had Palm Sunday, and we had the little children come in carrying the palm branches. And I had an, um, a container sitting on the altar, and it had oasis, and it was ready. So when those babies came in with the palms, the palm branches, I just arranged them right there in front of the church. And it really turned out so pretty, and it was so sweet. Those babies really enjoyed that. Um, I like Palm Sunday. It's always a fun Sunday to celebrate. Miss Joan asks a question. She says, hello, I'm Joan. Doing hey. great things from Northern Ireland. Okay. Oh, she you. asks, what's the best color of containers to use for floristry, or does it not matter? It really doesn't matter. It's completely up to you, Miss Joan, and what's pleasing to the eye for you. Um, for me, I prefer like a stone-colored container or a darker container versus a white container, but quite honestly, it doesn't matter. No container is wrong. Ms. Wanda Dill asks, how are you? We are good. We are good. We're actually getting ready. We are, um, so as soon as we finish work today, Jason and I and Micah Thomas, our younger child, are all headed to Atlanta to a soccer tournament. And so we're trying to get this day done. We're trying to get all the church arrangements ready and all of the prom corsages are done and ready for everybody to pick up. And so we're just trying to get it, get it all done. But it's a great day. It's been a good day. All right, I'm going to continue to add home just more jade. And so, for any arrangement you'll ever do, this is probably this is perhaps your easiest arrangement. You're never going to find an easier arrangement than this, quite honestly. 
um, because it's just foliage. Miss Vicki says she loves. Oh, thank you, Miss Vicki. So I'm turning it around, and you can see how I've got um, foam showing back here. So I'm going to be sure to cover that foam. Now the back side really doesn't have to have a whole lot of form. I'm just gonna lay this this palm, and I was gonna call it fern, this palm just flat. But I just wanna make sure that all those mechanics are covered. Miss um, Clay, Kate Clement <laughs> asks, what foliage are you using? This is called jade. It's a, um, it's just a type of palm leaf that we have here at the shop. We use it for funeral work, large church arrangements, that kind of thing. Kyle Dunbar says, I love learning ideas from you. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you, friend. Okay, so there's my greenery on the back. Turn it back around. I have a few more um, branches, so I'm just going to tuck those in. Miss Kay says thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Miss mm -hmm. Kay. Anytime. Anytime. I'm so glad to be of some help. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's our palm. Victoria, I'm going to step in here and grab the leaf shine real quick. I will be right back. Do real quick is I am going to this is called it's floral life leaf shine it's just a can of shine it's kind of like hairspray for your hair except it shines the leaves so I'm just going to spray it right on to that greenery and what it's doing is it just takes away that dull look of the foliage so I don't you can kind of tell with the light um, that it shines it up just a little bit I just don't like it being too dull. So next, I'm going to see, this is called palmetto, and it's big. It is a big palm. It is actually native to Florida, and for you Floridians that are gonna watch me, tell me how it grows. I think it's just, I think it just grows wild. I'm not exactly sure. It does not grow here in Mississippi, but it's just kind of a big palm leaf. I thought these would be pretty in this arrangement and just give it a little different texture. So I'm gonna take it, and did I just hit you with that? I apologize, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I just thought these palms tucked in here might be pretty. So I'm just taking it and tucking that right in. But look at that texture and how different that looks. Robbie, do you want to step on the camera and show everybody your pretty face? <laughs> Not really. Uh, Miss Sue Dean says, I love what you did with the children in the past. They are our future. Oh, I love my babies at church. I will tell you that that I really enjoy teaching Sunday school and being with my babies. Um, I haven't taught Sunday school in several years, but but it was a lot of fun. I always like to teach the, the younger children because they're not smarter than me yet. I always like it when you're not smarter than me yet. They think they're smarter than me, but I was really still smarter. <laughs> and so that's why I like to, to teach the little ones. All right, so I tucked those palmetto branches right down into that. And so what it's doing is just giving us a really, really wild palm looking effect. And then I'm gonna spray that with a little bit of shine. Uh, Janine uh -huh. asks, is there a right length to cut your greenery? There's really not a right length to cut anything. It's all dependent on how tall you want it in the arrangement. I always suggest to cut a very little off at a time. You can always cut more off the stem, but you can't add it back to it. So any time, always be conservative with your cut. Now with foliage, um, I, don't, I don't even know how to tell you how short I cut it, but you just need to make sure you leave enough stem so that it can, it can insert into that foam. But always be more conservative with your cut than you think you need to be. Um, because like I said, you can always cut more off, but you can't add to it. So if you get it too short, it's not good. 
-hmm. It's hard to work with them when they're too short. So just to give this just a little bit of um, variety to this arrangement, I realize it's a Palm Sunday arrangement. I wanted Palm. I am going to add a little bit of this Porta Corpus just to give us a little bit of a dripping effect. It's just so, it sits, it's just sitting on top of the container. So I'm going to take this Porta Corpus and I'm going to add it to this container. I really like the texture of this. It's called Weeping Porta Corpus. And I just love the texture. It's just a really pretty foliage. We've enjoyed using it. Miss mm -hmm. Joan asks, can you show us sometime how to make a candelabra? Loving your jade palm leaf arrangement. Okay, so the question about how to do a candelabra, are you thinking like a wedding candelabra? Or are you thinking like a, a tabletop candelabra? I do not any long, I used to, we um, worked a lot with like wedding candelabras, really tall, pretty candelabras, but we don't anymore. And so I don't have any available to work with. But if I ever do a tabletop candelabra, I'll certainly, I'll certainly show you. Um, but it's been a long time since I've had the opportunity to work with a pretty candelabra. But yes, ma'am, I'll be happy to <laughs> if I ever if I ever run into one. Miss Kathy says, I love your arrangements. I live in East Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. If I lived near you, I know I would enjoy your shop. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you so much for watching. We really enjoy coming here and, and teaching. All right, so that is the most simple arrangement you have ever watched me do. Many years ago when I was in school, I've told this story before, um, but I went to, we went to South Carolina for a competition. And when we went to this competition, we had to, we had to fly all of our flowers with us. This was back in the 90s. And it was probably 98. It's been a long time ago. It's as old as you are, Victoria. <laughs> anyway, um, so we had to fly all our flowers to this competition. And our flowers didn't make it. So we get to this competition with no flowers, and we're supposed to compete in a floral competition with no flowers. So we had to figure out. So first of all, we I think that the... Um, the arrangement was supposed to be dedicated to a soldier. And so I had gotten a picture of the, the said soldier. I had old glasses, things that would work for a masculine arrangement. I had a tray and an old, I think it was a brass container. Anyway, so we're going to the grocery store trying to find flowers. And that's not easy. And you know, grocery stores carry very simple flowers like daisies and carnations and roses. Well, that wasn't going to work for my arrangement. So, I just went around outside this hotel where we were staying and I cut foliage. And my arrangement, and back then I will say that I was not a designer. I was pitiful. Maybe I wasn't pitiful, but I was not great. Anyway, and I'm not great now, but I just like what I do. <laughs> anyway, so I go and cut all of this greenery. I did the only all greenery arrangement in the whole competition, and I won. Not a flower in the arrangement. It was all greenery. And I will say that I really enjoy doing all greenery arrangements. They're not common, um, and I would say that people probably would be disappointed if they were delivered an arrangement of all greenery. But it was really neat. It was really interested and interesting, and I, I thought out of the box. Which was, which was smart, I guess. Mm -hmm. It made me the most creative anyway with not <laughs> using my carnations from the grocery store. But it was fun. And so this kind of reminds me of that. This Palm Sunday arrangement kind of reminds me of that. Being able to use all greenery is fun. But I thank you all so very much for coming here this afternoon and spending your afternoon with us um, and helping and watching us put together a Palm Sunday arrangement. Tell me how you celebrate Palm Sunday. I would love to know how y'all celebrate. And I will see you all real soon. And I hope you have a great afternoon. And we'll see you on Monday. Y'all have a great day. Darling, you